da 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 Cynic just gave her first rehearsal and I am still humming her song because that girl can sing. Are you ready to talk about it? Let's, <laughs> Let's do, do this! this. Yes, Cynic was serving emo goth realness during her first rehearsal. Very pale, apparently it's special stage makeup because they really want to highlight the contrast between the black dress and the skin. Some have said she looked heroin chic, others had said she looked like an emo who had just done a few too many drugs. In either you know scenario, she's very striking. It's very Corpse Bride, but Corpse Bride was a hit, so do not take that as an insult. Millions watch that movie. It's a very striking opening. You just see her eyes illuminated in light. She's very saucy and sexy. The camera pans out. Very black, very minimalist, but very effective. I think that, yes, there's the James Bond sound, but she's pulling that sound into 2018 and beyond. This almost sounded interstellar to me. Take me to Mars, honey. Futuristic. It really works. Best vocal we've had from her this thus far, you know, on the promo circuit and now here. Um, yeah, this was a grower for me. Based on past experience, I kind of have to be careful with Belgian, Belgium and first impressions on their staging because for Luik back in 2015, Blanche last year, we saw their first staging and we weren't impressed. And I think it's kind of the same now, that there's elements that are there that are very strong, but it's not the final package. Um, she was the first act today to use the catwalk, so she used kind of the whole stage and in a way it kind of made her, she filled the stage even though she was on her own. And she didn't look empty or alone like Blanche did last year. And there's a very nice effect at the very beginning where the light is just shining on her eyes. Mm. And you just see that and the rest is darkness and then she kind of gets brighter. I think the main thing is the makeup. because. That obviously we we know the effect they're trying to go for, but it just looks like that she had a very rough night last night and that she was in now to to perform. But she obviously didn't because her vocals were fine. But she just doesn't look um, the part yet. Like they need to tweak that. And I think if she was to look like that on the night of the semi final, people would jump to bad conclusions. Yeah, no, the makeup is the makeup is the thing that's letting this down at the moment because. The actual staging, the fact it's all in darkness, you know, that you've got that light and it's just those little pots where she's wearing the black but that's very pale, it works but it's just, she's got something under her eyes and it just doesn't work. She needs something else there, maybe something more like a smoky eye or just yes. something to give it, to nice make it... Nice eyelashes. Yeah, just don't look like that because that, it just looks really, really bad and especially when the first shot is just of her eyes and it looks like she's had a really rough night, that isn't something that you want as your lasting memory. But she sounded much, I'm so much better than we heard in the pre-parties, I mean, there were some rough performances there. Um, but this was a lot, lot better. I just, I wonder, because obviously it's a bit away at the moment from Albania, whether Albania might overwhelm this though, because that's so much power and then this will be quite understated afterwards. I feel like that might be a bit of a juxtaposition and one of them won't come off well. And just based on these two rehearsals, Albania is beating this at the moment. Yeah, I thought they both came off well, y'all. I'm the <laughs> eternal optimist. And we don't want to sound shallow or superficial, but the face is important because when you have a simple setting, a simple background, and pretty much a solid color black with a bit of white strobe or white lights, the face is so important. It becomes yeah. the vessel for all the emotion and mystery of the song. So this is not just saying, oh girl, change your makeup. <laughs> it's saying change the makeup so that we can better read your face, what you're feeling, and not be distracted. Because she's beautiful. I mean, Stunning. we were like, does she have makeup on? Because it was like a very natural thing. And we were yeah. like, yeah, there's obviously something going on. But she's stunning. Yeah. Don't take away from that natural beauty by then making her look washed out. Helen Bonham Carter, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. I'm just kidding, I love that movie too. Again, watched by millions, don't take it the wrong way. In any case, I think there were some fears earlier this may not go to the final, and I know it's really early, but I think this has improved its chances for me, because I see the concept they're going for. They're not yeah. there yet, but the final product is going to be magical. Yeah, I think the, the, the vocal was my main concern, and she's kind of ticked that one off. And I think as long as it's not too dark, the stage, like, as long as they just tweak little bits of the stage or anything, that'll be really, really, I'm more confident in it.
Yeah, the staging is better than I feared that it might be because I kind of thought that they might just go simple and just have her sitting at a piano and she just wouldn't move for three minutes. And she has a very dynamic performance as she's walking around the place and she's engaging with the audience yeah. and the crowd. So, yeah, I think it's still a strong contender. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you excited to see Belgium staging? What about this whole makeup drama? Have you seen much? Let us know here on Movie Blogs. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe. And we will see you later. Bye!